algorithms. Okay, we'll see the um, entry questions. Yeah, you can answer. So, what is the what is the difference between the add to item and add transaction item? This answer, this uh, ping me in the chat window, or uh, yeah, you can just uh, what is the difference between and just please uh, answer and hello am i audible yes sir this is a common question they will ask okay what is the difference between the add queue item and add transaction item so the add queue item is used to adding the new item to the queue okay and the status is a automatically converted into the new okay the status of the queue item is a new it, it is used to add the new item to the queue any items to the queue that is the use of this one and it won't return any value it does not have a output values the add transaction item the, and the priority is a normal here the if you use add queue item the priority is a normal so add transaction item is used to adding the it's a for it is we are using this for the any high priority uh, queue items if the, even though the queue has a lot of items to process uh, items to be processed then if you want to process any new item immediately so then you can use the add transaction item so the add transaction item you have to specify the queue item queue, queue name and the, all the values the new values it's a new item and uh, uh, it, the output of the add transaction item is queue item okay queue item is an object the output of the add transaction item is q item so immediately it will go to the in progress stage this will go to the new status new this will go to the in progress so this does not have a this add q item does not have a output so it will just add the new q item but here the output of the add transaction item is a q item it will add and it will go to the process so that is the difference between these two and uh, how can you add so how how can you add uh, uh, items to queue bulkly? So lot, okay. So by using the bulk add queue item, okay. Items, okay. This bulk queue, uh, bulk add queue items. These names and all. See the names and all. You should clearly tell, okay. It's not like a add item, okay. Add s so also. You should. Uh, say that okay suppose the get uh, how can you get the item so get q item some people who does not have work in the q items they will tell like a get q item so there is no get q item there is no get q item proper activity is not there okay you should tell exactly add q item add transaction item like that okay so bulk q item is used to bulk q items is used to add the items bulkly so the what is the what is the input for this one the input you have to give uh, two things one is a q item q, q name okay one is a q name another one is a data table uh, data table object okay understand uh, what is the next one so what is the uh, difference between what is the difference between get q items and uh, get transaction item okay this is the one question they will ask like what is the difference between get q item and get transaction item so the get q items is used to get the or uh, any type of other I mean q item so that means any specific status also you can mention so if you want to get uh, get the all the how many number of uh, q items what are all the number of q items are uh, success or fail or retried or new okay so you can get the specific status based on the specific status you can get the items from the queue but this is not for the process okay this is for just uh, uh, to analyze uh, to just uh, send the reports anything uh, the output of the get queue items is a so list of queue items okay that is a i enumerable i enumerable means that is a list actually list of queue items you can tell like i enumerable of uh, 
queue items or list of queue items. The get queue items output is a list of queue items. So how can you get the new item from the queue? So by using the get transaction item. So if you want to process any item, so the to take the new item from the queue, then you can use a get transaction item. The output of the get transaction item is a queue item. So they will ask what is the output of the get transaction item? The get transaction item is a queue item. So so what is the output of a get transaction item that is a queue item okay not like a transaction item so don't tell the ring so some people they will just uh, uh, they will prepare that answer like a so they will tell like a I, I saw some people they answer like a transaction item is there and uh, so recently I saw so there's a so what is the add transaction they, he said so there's no add transaction item at all in the UI path there's only add queue item so so okay so you should be clear about this uh, concepts okay that is a uh, under uh, after that so how can you get the specific or uh, the the field values from q item okay how can you get the specific values from that so the answer is so, so answer is uh, by using the q uh, q item object so this is an object that contains the method card specific content okay so you have to specify the field name name here it will give the the value of the field so the one of the big organization they ask this question so only because of so, so you see this is one question so uh, i mean they ask this question so they uh, it is a so you just learn this one so the so by using the specific content so they will ask how can you retrieve the specific value or how can you retrieve the field value or attribute value okay so they can ask differently but the by using the specific content is a method specific content method you should understand uh, you should know about the specific content and uh, how can you set the status you can set the status how to set the status of q item okay so by using the uh, set set q item okay so set q item so oh, so you have a success or failed so if it's a fail you have to specify the business or application exception so the, if there is a uh, uh, business or application you have to do the reason okay uh, these are all the questions they will ask in the, from the queues so so what happened if the that is another question so what happened so if the item is is in uh, in progress stage state okay status uh, us status uh, what will happen okay what will happen okay so this will go to the abandoned stage so after 24 hours okay after 24 hours after 24 hours it will see after and then it will go to the abandoned stage okay so what is the refer reference reference so we just saw right if you want to add the reference to the queue so you can add the items while you are adding the queue items so you can use the reference but uh, why we have to use so while we are getting the items also we can you filter by using the reference instead of getting the first uh, item so we can get the first reference the first item based on the reference that is the reference adding the reference uh, they, these are all the uh, i mean questions for the queues yeah uh, so practice more now yeah, just take the same example library and uh, so yesterday we saw what is that uh, bus stand so just take the uh, suppose bus stand uh, uh, stand has a uh, i mean bus pass bus pass queue is there okay bus pass queue it, they will come for the uh, renewal renewal okay or uh, taking the new pass or cancel pass okay there is a different purpose as they will come so just take the this this is one example is uh, just create a uh, this is one exercise so create a bus pass queue the bus pass queue is a queue item queue, queue name and add the what is the that mean type type of the uh, uh, pass so 
so whether they come from the renewal or they come from the okay a new pass they come from the cancel the pass okay so these things are also this is the one type what type of the bus pass and the price and the source and destination okay source and destination and their their uh that mean phone number name and uh, that mean a professional something so you just prepare yourself so there's some fields and uh, do do the things so what is the what is the thing basically so the bus pass has a you just log okay log the information here we have a log right this is a log we just wrote so log the information just log the information so this person come from the renewal there is much amount they paid this is the person name so this is a phone number like that that is a exercise understand just log 